good morning and I'm right on the edge of the Snowdonia National Park at the moment doing a short circular walk to Abba Falls. I parked at the car park just back there, got there really late and by god was it busy. Like just hundreds of people everywhere. Normally when I go away I make sure I don't go when it's like school holidays and stuff. I didn't check this time and it's the last weekend and a half term so it's gonna be busy. But I'm gonna head this along this footpath here. It's gonna take me up to the waterfalls. I'm gonna turn right and then follow a path along the uh, other side of the valley. And I should get some nice coastal views when I get to the other end. It should be really nice and the sun's shining. It's really hot, it's probably nearly 20 degrees. As you're making your way towards Abba Falls, do look out for any of these circular or linear walls that you can see in the woods alongside. They're actually the remains of an Iron Age settlement, and you can make out roundhouses and other buildings as well. Falls certainly didn't let me down they were gorgeous massive massive waterfall and it was really interesting the way it kind of splits and you've got other little falls kind of going down and it's a shame how busy it was there must have been at least a hundred people just all you know taking up space and <laughs> jumping in the water and stuff it kind of spoils it a little bit but they're having fun which is a good thing um, I'm heading along the side of this valley. I'm actually going to take a path that leads me across and then I think along the top of the woodlands over there. So I should hopefully start to get some views of the sea. I can see the sea at the moment, just a tiny little glimpse of it. Um, but first I think there is another waterfall actually just around the corner. And I'm hoping to get a nice view of that one. So the second waterfall wasn't quite as spectacular as Abba Falls, but it was still really nice to see. And I don't think I've really got much more to see actually until I get further around the valley where I can look down the coast towards Conway and then Bangor as well.
So I've almost reached the end of the valley now, and I've got a great view of the sea over there, but I just thought I'd look back at the uh, two waterfalls, there's Abba Falls on the left, and you can see the path that I followed all the way there. But it stopped here, because I'm just passing under a pylon. You can hear it crackling away, but looking down the wires and stuff, it almost looks like a cable car or something like that. Something that you'd see in like the Alps at a ski resort or something. It's really unusual. And then there's the view to the sea. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to work my way round. There's a bit of a steep descent down. It leads me back to the road and then I follow that back to the car park. But for the moment it's all about the views out towards Anglesey and anywhere else I can see. <laughs> Just sitting here having a little bit of a rest and filming a time lapse and really enjoying this view. Look at this, absolutely fantastic. So, from left to right, we've got the northeastern end of Anglesey over here, and that leads over to a lighthouse. And then next to that is actually an island called Puffin Island, but it used to be called Priest Home. And there's actually the ruins of a monastery on the summit. I believe a hermitage was established there in the 6th century, but the remains of the current monastery date to the 12th century. And then if I bring you around this side, over there, I think that's Great Orm, and that just sits next to Flandudno. And uh, on there, they recently discovered loads and loads of Bronze Age mines, like hundreds if not thousands of them. Could be the most extensive sort of Bronze Age mining in the country. Uh, but for now I'm just going to have a little rest and enjoy the view. Most visitors are aware that the whole area along the coast of North Wales was protected really heavily in the medieval and Norman period as well. And this walk, as you come down, I've got a fantastic view over there to a castle. Um, is it Penryn, I think? Something like that, Penryn Castle. That one actually only dates to, I think, the 19th century. It's owned and managed by the National Trust. Um, and it's built to a very similar older style. But, down here you can see a large grassy mound just behind the houses. That's actually a Norman Mott, which has been dated to 1090. And there are apparently a few stones still left on the top of the Mott, which marks the location of a stone keep. And that is one of many castles, many, many castles all dotted along here, all the way until you reach England. 